Hello and happy Halloween, everybody. I'm Rafa Mo Waffles, and I'm going to teach you how to create an intro fly-in camera for your campaigns. It's the camera that you will see at the start of any Valve campaign in which you get a cinematic view and you cannot play until it is finished. It's basically the intro for the campaign. To start, create an entity, info underscore director. Place it, click on it, name, director, or whatever you should choose. First thing you're going to do, output, add. On gameplay start, target your director, force, survivor positions. This will lock the players in place. Then you're going to create a logic relay. Place it, name it something, whatever you want. I'm going to call it intro relay. Then you're going to place a fade, env underscore fade. Name it something, I'm going to name mine intro underscore fade. Hmm. Intro faded is what I'll go with, I suppose. Flags fade from, that is the only flag you need. You can change the duration however you want. I'm going to make it 1 and make the hold 0.5. So it will hold for 0.5 seconds in blackness and then it will fade in from blackness. Create another logic underscore relay. Place it wherever you should choose. And then you will name it whatever you want. I will name mine intro relay finish. So those are your th four main logic entities you'll need. You will create four point underscore view control underscore survivor. Does not matter where you make them. Make them wherever you should choose. Doesn't matter if they line up, I'm just doing this for my sanity. They will need unique names though. That is the only important part in the creation of these. So I'm going to name this one Nick. I name this one Coach. I name this one Ellis. I'm going to name this one Rochelle. These are capital versions, these are lowercase versions. Although apparently that's not going to work. So I'm going to name that to Rochelle Cam. I'll just add a cam on the end of each of these. Boy oh boy, do I love when capitals don't matter. So change the field of view to each of these to 40. Once that is done, you'll create a prop dynamic. Place the prop dynamic. This is the entity that will matter the most. Double click on it, name it Ghost Anim. Apply. World model, you will in the filter, you will type ghost. You will scroll to the top, ghost anim dot model. Double click. Apply. You will know you got the right one if you click on the model tab and down arrow you see all these intros. For this tutorial I will use C4M1 underscore intro. I'm going to copy this. So control C. Then once that is done you can hit apply and you will notice once your model is placed that wherever the hell it is you will have these little propellers. I just call these propellers because I'm not sure what to call them if they aren't. Those propellers are what matters. Those are That's the origin point for the camera. What I do with them is I generally sink them just a bit below ground. Each of these cameras you can select all four at the same time. Parent them to Ghost Anim. Apply. That should be the last time you open those cameras. 
and the last time you opened that prop dynamic too. So from here, in the game director, info director, add on gameplay start, trigger this first relay. No delay. First relay, add on trigger, fade, fade, add on trigger. Select the director. Start intro. Not write the journal. Start intro. Okay. Then add on trigger. Select your propellers. <laughs> Set animation. Control V to paste the intro you chose. I chose C4M1. So that will now set the animation of the propellers to C4M1 and it will play automatically. On trigger. Select your next relay. Trigger it. After 9.4 seconds. On the last relay, add on trigger. Select each camera individually and do start movement. You can just copy and paste and then reselect the new camera. It saves you about a millisecond. I don't know exactly how much it saves you, but it doesn't save you a very significant amount. I'm just a lazy little shit. Copy paste and then you will change the target entity to each survivor model. You will do set view control to its respective cam. So Nick will have Nick cam. I'm actually just going to delete those three. I'm just going to copy and paste from here. This will be coach. And he gets the coach cam. Am I right? And do that for all four of them. Indeed. Go back to this. Add. No, no, no. Not here, actually. Go here. Back to where you were just now. On trigger. Director. Release. Survivor positions. After one second. Copy paste. And then. Finish intro. Predicted there was a problem in the relays. Don't even need to show you what happened. Basically, the camera did not fire until the very end. That means we need to actually change these set view controls. So just copy them and delete them. And then paste them into the first relay. Now, what should happen is the camera sh should have this set as its view control for the entire time. That is how it should correctly be set up. And apply. One last vital piece we missed, and the most important part of using the prop dynamic. Output, then for each of these, copy, paste, set parent attachment, and then for this, you will change it to attachment underscore one. Copy it. And paste for each parameter override. So now the cameras change their view control and they are now parented to the correct origin point on the model. The attachment one is the most important part because the way a prop dynamic works is it's a model that could potentially be animated. But the difference between parenting and parenting to an attachment is. When you parent to an attachment, you are parenting to, to something like the model's sword. If it had a sword, for example, and you wanted to put fire on the sword, you'd parent it to the sword attachment. Whereas, 
if you simply parent something, then that means its origin point will move in relation to the origin point of the entity. In this case, with the camera, its origin point does not move as it animates. It would stay right here. That little dot there is this camera <laughs> model's origin point. So the reason why the cameras wouldn't move if you simply parented it to it is because the origin point itself does not move. What moves in the animation is the attachment point, and that's why you must not only parent the camera to the model, but also to the model's attachment point, which in this case should be attachment point 1. Ah yes, one more thing that we also, that I screwed up personally. Let me change these to the cam version instead of the survivor version. The pains of copy and pasting are known only to me. So now, once again, hopefully we got this right. Ah yes, the majesty and artwork of an intro camera. It only took a few compiles to get it right, but I got it. And hopefully, with my help, you too can understand the intro camera. Thank you for watching. This has been Raffamawaffles. Good luck, and have fun.